Hi you guys, so today I am going to be filming my first ever Aldi food shop. Now I am very excited because first and foremost, Aldi is actually a lot cheaper than I first anticipated. Um, I discovered Aldi like, it's probably been running for like years, but I personally just discovered, um, discovered it for like, I want to say just over a year and now since then I've been doing my weekly shop there ever since because you know what you can pick up some really really good bargains now usually I would um, I used to go to Asda and do my weekly shopping it used to cost me at least 30 to 40 pounds a week now shopping at Aldi it's cost me half the price um, so that's a bonus for me and secondly they have a lot of like interesting things um, different things that I wouldn't really have would have tried like probably buying from Asda. I don't know. That's just me personally. So today I'm going to be showing you guys everything I picked up from Aldi. And I'm going to be also giving you guys some healthy um, snack dinner ideas. And now these are some, some of the stuff that I have um, throughout the week. And you know what? Now that we're all in quarantine and uh, we're in lockdown. I know now more than ever we tend to visit the fridge quite frequently. I don't know about you guys. But I enjoy a good snack. So I'm going to show you guys um, and give you guys some tips and ideas and yeah, I'm just excited to show you guys everything I've picked up. So yeah, without this long intro, let's jump right in and show you guys everything I picked up. Okay, so I think I'm going to show you guys the freezer things first, get that out of the way and then I can pop it back in the freezer where it belongs. So the first item I picked up is just some classic straight cut chips now this was i believe 90p which is literally insane this would easily go for like one pound 50 two pounds easily this is such a huge bag 1.5 kg and yeah 90p for like chips is actually a really a really good bargain now that we're kind of in lockdown what i usually do is i like to have like maybe like a friday night or a saturday night takeaway homemade so what i would do is like fry some chips or oven it and then I discovered this. So this shop I did this morning. So everything I'm showing you will literally be in the stores right now. So yeah, I discovered this. This is quite cool. So this is a pizza dough original. You can make your own pizza at home. I know in other shops you can literally buy the dough and the pizza base ready made and then you just put your toppings. But this is a make it yourself at home sort of thing. And I found that really interesting. So now if I wanted to have like a takeaway night, um, I could just literally make that pizza from scratch, got the chips, and then if you want any like sides, you can. So yeah, I thought that was quite interesting, but I thought I'd show that to you guys. Um, this I believe was one pound 30 or one pound 39, I'm not too sure. You could do this with like your kids or just you and your partner. I think that'd be really fun, interactive. So yeah, thought I'd show that with you guys. Now, another snack that I absolutely love is jack potato now i would have this for lunch or dinner it's a healthy alternative this is four jack potatoes for i believe like one pound again one pound something which is less than 50p each per potato literally crazy and um, you can pop this in the oven or the microwave microwave six minutes or oven 45 minutes so um i would either do both for like if i'm running quite late for something and i just wanted something just to eat before i go out pop it in the oven and uh, pop it in the microwave for like six minutes but if i have time and i want it to be nice and crispy 45 minutes, 45 minutes in the oven in the oven and then pop the uncle so yeah i absolutely love jack potato i would put my own toppings again and it's a very easy healthy alternative for lunch or dinner okay so moving on um, i picked up corn mince now i am a non-meat eater so corn mince is literally life to me i have this with bolognese i'll have this with shepherd's pie lasagna different meals and i just can't seem to get enough of it it literally tastes insane it literally tastes like real meat if you haven't tried it and even if you're a meat eater just try it it's less fat and it's high protein and a good source of fiber there's so many benefits of this so do give this a try if you have it now moving on i'm going to show you guys my favorite snack currently like i have this literally all the time these are my favorite now these are rice cakes there's different ones um i just discovered this recently in aldi and i was like this is cool because it's a cheese flavor i used to swear by the snacker jacks i used to get them all the time but i used to get the salt and vinegar one i know they have a caramel one too i've tried that before but i wasn't too keen about it because i felt like it was quite harsh but the salt and vinegar love that 
and I discovered that they did a Tony cheese flavor, which was quite interesting. So yeah, I thought I'd pick it up. It's 38 calories per biscuit, which is such a good like snack. If you want something that's slow in fat and you want a good snack, 38 calories, not bad at all. And this was one pound 10 or one pound 09 or something like that. Just over a pound, so not bad at all. Um, now this is an Aldi brand and this is Rice Cakes Multigrain. They do two of these. So they do the, the lightly salted and they do this one, which is a plain one. This is less than 3% fat, you guys. And now I would have this um, for a little snack or I would have this in the morning for breakfast with peanut butter and some cut up banana over that. Very, very high in fiber, low fat, no artificial color, nothing. And honestly, I kid you not, it really fills you up too. So. There you go, you can thank me later. I'm also thinking, by the way, guys, of doing a, um, a separate video where I show you guys some of my healthy snack ideas. Let me know if you guys would like to see that because I have quite a few and they're all literally less than 200 calories. Because now more than ever, like we like to go to our fridge quite frequently and we like to like, snack all day. I don't know about you, but I am definitely a snacker. I would snack, I prefer a snack over a meal, so. If you guys want to see that, let me know because I have quite a few. So yeah, those are what I picked up next. Um, oh, oh my god, okay, you guys. So if you go to Aldi, please, please, please try this. This is not sponsored or nothing like that. Kind of wish it was, but it's not. Please try this drink. It will literally blow your mind. This is literally hands down my favorite drink ever. Like ever. Sorry, I've got a really needy cat here. He's he's really needy and he just um, this is the apple and mango juice. Oh my god, this is gonna blow your mind. It tastes amazing and it's just like so thick, so creamy, and it's like I think 75p or 80p like for one liter of juice, not bad at all. And it literally like I would choose this over any drink out there right now. No way to lie, this drink is everything to me, literally. Okay, so on to the topic of drinks. I thought I would show you my next favorite drink from Aldi. It's basically this lemonade with made with real fruits. Guys, this huge thing of lemonade is literally 30, actually 29p when I picked it up. 29p for a what? How many liters is this? Two liter lemonade. Like, it's literally crazy. So I would make this. Um, like you can make your own, your homemade mojitos with strawberries, with mint, with ice, like whatever you want with it, and just like add this, like it's literally 30p, 30p, like you can't go wrong with this at all. So I always have quite a few of these locked up at home because it's so cheap. I mean, come on. Right, moving on. Um, so another snack that I absolutely love is hummus and carrot sticks. Now this is the best combination ever. I absolutely love it. Um, carrot sticks is obviously a healthy alternative to snack on, to pop in your salad, just you do you, you can go quite creative with this, so um, you can even like boil it or cook it with your meal, so I would easily have this, this while I'm watching a movie, while I'm just kind of getting work done, so yeah, I think this was like about, I want to say 70p or something, and this is I kind of wish I had the prices on me, but I don't. Again, less than a pound, I want to say for this. Less than a pound. Yeah, definitely less than a pound. I'd say about 80p. Again, very, very cheap. Okay, so I don't know about you guys, but I am most definitely a Yorkshire tea kind of girl. I love this thing. Now, when I have a good brew, I want, I want it to taste like tea. I don't want it to taste too milky. I don't want it to taste watery. I wanna taste a good tea. <laughs> now, yeah, I'm very passionate about my teas, okay, guys? So, yeah, uh, I picked this up because we were running low on tea and this is just just life, okay, life. Um, so, yeah, um, this was like about two pounds something for, how many did you get in here? 120 bags, so not bad. Let me know down below if you're a Yorkshire tea lover like myself because it'd be quite interesting. Yorkshire tea, PJ, or telly? Let me know down below. Now, if you have a pet, Aldi is the place to go because the stuff is literally very, very cheap. I've got a cat, as you heard earlier, a very needy cat. Now, this place is literally so cheap to get cat food or if you have a dog or just whatever animals you have. I think they, from what I've seen, I've just seen cats and dogs, like cat food and like accessories, but I'm not too sure. So anyways, um, he absolutely loves these snacks. 
um, these little treats. These are filled pockets and they do in different flavors. This is just the beef one. I've got the chicken one over there that I've already opened up. But yeah, I give him this um, every so often and he absolutely loves them. Like I'll just do like this and he will just run around the whole room going crazy. So, and this was like 59p, if I'm not too mistaken, like 59p is a bargain. I also get his cat litter from there and that is one less than two pounds and it's a massive bag, like huge for less than two pounds so again a very good bargain now again with snacking because i told you guys i'm a massive snack fiend i picked up this you guys have to try this honestly it tastes insane this is hummus bites that looks like so this is the flavor tomato and basil this is gluten-free source of fiber suitable for vegans so if you're a vegan out there you have to try this I would have this with hummus uh, watching a movie and you know what, I don't even, I don't even feel bad about it. Um, if I finish a bag then I'm, I'm not mad at myself because you know what, it's less fat, it's low in fat. Guys, it's literally the best thing ever, it tastes literally amazing and again I think this was like a pound or less than a pound so it's like a good snack that you don't feel too guilty about, this. Okay, I'm going to swiftly move through these because I feel like I'm talking forever. Um, I always go to Aldi for fruits and vegetables. Um, I picked up some onions, I picked up some um, sweet peppers, oranges, strawberries. I also picked up some green apples, some um, nectarines. These are so yum, like they're so juicy. I can easily just have one right now, but I'm not gonna do that because it's gonna get literally all over my face and we ain't about that look right now. So yeah, I also picked up some avocado. I absolutely love avocado with feta cheese on a bagel in the morning, oh, the best. Um, I picked up some lemon because I'll have this um, with some water and like mint just for like a good body detox, literally amazing. Okay, another amazing lunch snack idea for you guys is the couscous. Now, these are amazing, so low in calorie but yet fills you up really nice. They do this in different flavors. I personally just love the roasted vegetables. They do like a Mediterranean tomato or something, but I feel like that's too tomato, too tomatoey for me personally. But again, it's just what you prefer. So yeah, um, I usually pick these up. And um, what I do is I boil some vegetables and then have that with this. Um, I would kind of roast some chickpeas with like soy sauce. A bit of paprika and then i'll add it to these this is literally so easy all you need to do is boil some water to this and that's it it's done like literally five minutes you're literally done so yeah i would have this for lunch it fills you up by low in calories but tastes amazing so and this like costs about 30p or 40p can't believe how cheap it is honestly guys sometimes i go there and i'm like how is aldi so cheap like how do they make money out of it but of course they must do but yeah love these I don't know about you guys, but does this remind you of a certain brand? Wink, wink. I think it does. Um, but you know what? I'm not complaining about it because I'm fine. You know, it's cheaper for me. This was 80 something P and you get five of these salted caramel squares and the 83 calories each. Now, another little dessert slash snack idea for you guys is what I would usually do is I get one of these. So I'd get a bowl, I'd get this, I'd crumble it, and then over that, what I would do is I'd get a low fat Greek yogurt, um, which is about like less than 100 calories. I'd pop that over that. And then to be more creative, I'd pour like some fruits over it, so like strawberries or like banana. And there you go guys, snack under 200 calories. That's a little sneak peek for you guys. I'll be included in my next video, which is my snack idea, but that's one of them. There you go, I'll give you guys a little sneak peek for you guys. Okay, so also picked up this jumbo kitchen roll because we go through kitchen roll like there's no tomorrow. I'm a little cream freak. I clean up after every meal. I like my house nice and spick and span. That's just me. So yeah, pick this up. And um, I also picked up this, uh, oops. I also picked up this um, baked beans um, tin. You get four for 94p what 94p is like 25p per can or just under 25p literally crazy and it literally tastes exactly like the Heinz if it doesn't then maybe add a bit of salt a bit of pepper Bob's your uncle 
Um, now, oh my god, you guys, the baking section in Aldi is literally crazy because it's so cheap. Now, this huge thing of plain flour, how many grams is this? 1.5 kg was 45p. Yes, you heard me right. You can thank me later. I do a lot of baking in this house. Now, I would bake something on a Sunday and it would last me until like the end of the week. It's just me and my husband. So, um, I'd bake us like cookies or like scones and stuff like that. And you know what, 45p for one k, like 1.5 kg of plain flour, they do this in soft raisin too. We had some soft raisin at home so I wasn't too bothered, but I needed some plain flour. 45p guys, so, so cheap. Also picked up some sugar, and again, this was about 40, 45p, wow. Um, and then I picked up some unsalted butter. This is again good for bacon, and I think this was one pound something, so decent okay so if you're struggling for dinner ideas and you wanted something quick and easy that didn't take too long and yet tastes amazing this this is like a stir fried chinese style noodles i am obsessed with like egg style noodles this is the one you get two packets in here and this costs i think about 50p 60p i want to say and it makes the best their best noodles ever. <laughs> you can get sauces as well, ready made. This is kind of like a lazy hack, but honestly, you guys need to try it out if you haven't because it tastes amazing. Um, so yeah, there's different types of sauces. I just got the charmaine. So yeah, and you can make a full meal for I wanna say about a family of four or maybe three for like two pounds if you added like chicken to it or if you add vegetables to it. Like it's so cheap but yet tastes amazing. Yeah, so um, halloumi is my life. Being a vegetarian, like halloumi, if you know, you know halloumi is life. I have this over salad, I have it like in burgers, I have it like pretty much any day, every day. Yum. So yeah, next thing I got is some tortilla wraps. Now, I am going to show you guys in my next video, which is healthy snack idea, of how I'm going to use this. Now, you guys are not ready for it because, again, if you love snacking, you guys will have to try this out hands down like it's so yum and literally i think it's like 150 calories stay tuned next item i picked up is some granola and this is a low sugar apple and blueberry granola i'd have this with yogurt um for like dinner sometimes if i don't want a heavy dinner or for breakfast yeah so pick that up now adol absolutely loves a cereal and he loves crunching up if you love crunching up and you want a cheaper alternative you guys have to try this because it literally tastes exactly like crunchy nut, no word of a lie. And this is one pound, I wanna say 20 or something like that. And I know crunchy nut easy goes for like two pounds or two pounds 50. And this is quite a big box. This is 500 grams. It's high in vitamin B6 and B12. So and a good source of iron. Are you a smooth peanut butter kind of girl or crunchy? Because I know I'm a crunchy kind of girl. I love peanut butter. I would literally get a spoon of peanut butter and eat it on its own because I absolutely love peanut butter. I'd have this over everything on like apples for a snack, on bagels, toast. Anywhere I can have peanut butter, I will have peanut butter because it's my guilty pleasure. I know it's like not the best because it's quite high in fat, but oh, it's so yum. Okay, also picked up some dark soy sauce. Yum, this with that noodles I showed you earlier is the best combination ever. So chickpeas is a great source of fiber, high in protein, fills you up really nice and it literally tastes amazing. Try chickpeas, I'd have chickpeas on its own, like roasted, I'd have it in a curry, I'd have it different ways. So definitely, definitely would recommend it. And this costs like about 40, 30p I wanna say, so not bad at all. Also picked up some lemon juice. And now these two little beauties is literally my husband's favorite. He, um, for like a little snack, if you want something that's gonna fill you up quite nice, but tastes yummy, but takes no time whatsoever. Try these mug shot um, noodles. I've never tried them before, I'll be honest with you guys, but from what he said, he said they taste amazing. So I'm gonna have to give it a go. It's less than 170 calories, which is crazy. Less than 1% fat, and they cost like 30p, you guys. 30, 40p, it's crazy. But yeah, very easy for like a little snack, 
slash lunch idea okay guys last but not least i picked up this all-purpose cloth you get 10 and i think it was like couple of pounds um, okay guys that is everything i picked up from aldi let me know if you guys enjoy these kind of videos because i'll definitely do more of them again i've said this for like the 10th time in this video probably stay tuned for my next video and um, coming up really soon which is going to be my healthy snack ideas you guys are not even ready for this video because i've got some really good ideas for you guys so i hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys did don't forget to smash that thumbs up and i'll see you in my next video